Parashas Shemot informs us of our earliest descent into Egypt, the beginning of the exile, the exile in Egypt. And then subsequently we're told there'll be a redemption, freedom. Exile and redemption are two sides of the same coin. One is needed for the other. Albeit there are those who claim that you don't need one dependent on the other. Freedom is absolute. Freedom is my wish to do what I want to do, whenever I want to do it, however I want to do it, with whomever I want to do it. That's not freedom. That's pandering to the slavery of ego, the I want. The truth of the matter is, freedom is the result of movement away from exile. We only appreciate freedom within a structure. A painter. Does a painter say one day, I want to paint? Or does he or she have to go a period of training, apprenticeship, making sure that the hands and the paintbrush and the skills are evolved? They have to work hard at it. And only after a period of training do ultimately is there the possibility of their self-expression in the most ideal way. Or a pianist likewise, nothing is instant. There has to be a period of exile, buckling under, in order to be able to express true freedom. So allow your life to be a training ground. You want to be free? Train. Do the hard work, the hard yards, and then you will appreciate the freedom as we Jewish people also enjoyed when we finally left our Egypt.